listen to Shadow Wars. We listen. We tell. We inspire. This is our dominion. Isang magandang araw po sa inyong lahat, mga minamahal kong Ido Cures. Siguro po na panood ninyo ang ating latest docu vlog tungkol sa formal declaration through a resolution ng uh, Regional Peace and Order Council that the entire Davao region uh, is already an insurgency-free region. Uh, dahil nga po ang lahat ng mga probinsya at isang syudad na nakapaloob dito ay kanya-kanya na pong nagdeklara sa kanika nilang mga lugar bilang insurgency-free province and city. At isa po sa kanila ay ang lalawigan ng Davao Oriental. Oo nga po na sa pamamagitan ng kanilang Provincial Peace and Order Council through a resolution na naman ay naideklara na nga nilang insurgency-free province ang Davao Oriental. Ngunit mas gusto nilang ipagsigawan sa buong mundo specifically sa buong Pilipinas, na ang kanilang lalawigan ay insurgency-free province na nga. Kaya gumawa sila ng isang formal at ceremonial declaration ng Davao Oriental bilang insurgency-free province. Sometime in 2013, the province of Davao Oriental, then under the headship of our governor, Corazon Malanyaon, was first declared as insurgency-free. But due to the lack of concrete national policy to end local communist armed conflict, our efforts then were not sustained. Not until the term of former President Rodrigo Roa Duterte who issued Executive Order No. 70 to address the more than five decades of insurgency through excellence in local governance. In Davao Oriental, there was effective convergence from among the national government agencies, our peace and development partners, to mention the DSWD, the DOLE, the DTI, DepEd, TESDA, the civil society organizations, the religious sector, the academe, our Philippine Army, our Philippine National Police. We converged a lot in the implementation of various programs like the Enhanced Comprehensive Local Integration Program, various outreach caravans, the implementation of the 20 million per barangay support to barangay development programs, the revitalized police sa barangay, and many others. Talagang naramdaman ng mga ordinaryong oriental tabawenyos na totoo at sinsiro ang ating pamalaan na wakasan ang problema ng insurgencia. Our Davao Oriental Happy Home which was first conceptualized by Honorable Malanyaon during her first term as governor, was benchmarked by all the 81 provinces nationwide. Most importantly, it has processed 458 former rebels who are now living as productive citizens in their respective communities through the interventions of various stakeholders. Last September 14, 2022, the remaining members of the communist terrorist groups operating in Davao Oriental surrendered to government, declaring the last weekend guerrilla front dismantled. And on the very recent September 19, 2022, Peace and Order Council presided over by our governor, the returning governor and the returning PPOC chairperson, a PPOC resolution was passed declaring Davao Oriental as insurgency-free as recommended by our very own Brigade Commander, Brigadier General Oliver Makiling. 
after going through a thorough evaluation and validation of the AFP PMP Joint Area Clearing and Validation Committee. And now, October 14, 2022, all our hearts are full as we will officially redeclare our beloved province, the Banwa na Madayao, as insurgency free. Nagsurender ko atong 2017 sa pamaagi nga ang pamaagi sa hukbong partido murang nag-anam na sila kahugot og ning sangput na sa dili maayong sitwasyon og nakadesisyon mi kay eh, daghan mi nagdungan nga mubaba na gyud og wala mi nasayop sa among desisyon tungod kay pagsurrender namo giatiman mig maayo sa gobyerno og ang gobyerno nga giila sa una nga kalaban sa hukbong partido dili tinuod mo na siya ang tinuod nga hitabo sa mong kinabuhi og tungod ni ana nagtindog mi karon sing atubangan nga dunay kalambuan og dili na ang kanhing rebelde nga halos dili kakaon Huwag ka ron, intindog mi sa inyong tubangan nga dako na kay kausaban. Huwag ang akong ipahibalo sa inyo ha, tungod sa happy home. Nga mo ay naghimo na mo, nag-umul na mo. Nga diha sa happy home, gituluan mi nga unsa o nang pag-ila doon ay Diyos. Unsa o pag-inabuhi nga patas, patas ka pang gobyerno. Unya, diha na mo nakita nga tinuod nga demokrasya. Tungod kay pagawas na mo sa happy home, naumul na mi, huwag doon na may kahibalo. Tungod diha sa happy home. Halos ang tanang ahensya sa gobyerno, manduod dito og lecturean mi. Usa mi makagawas kompleto na mi sa materialis, sa material og espiritual nga mga butang. In behalf of the uh, 10 Infantry Aguilar Division, allow me to extend my earnest congratulations to the people of Davao Oriental under the leadership of uh, Governor Corazon Malanyaon whose indispensable support to our peace campaign strengthened the partnership of the Philippine Army and uh, Armed Forces in general and the provincial government in pursuing its peace and development agenda. Needless to say, the implementation of the Peace and Development Outreach Program or uh, ito pong tinatawag natin na PIDOP no? in the province with the support of our beloved uh, Governor Malanyaon led to the dismantling of PBC-5 in 2011, the clearing of 192 barangays in 2012, and the narrowing of CTG capabilities resulting to zero affectation in 2013. Thus, Davao Oriental was declared complete, manageable, and ready for further development province in the same year. With the dedications of uh, Governor Malanyaon for the community, a Bahay Pagasa was launched in Davao Oriental which served as transition shelter for the former rebels in 2013. The uh, construction of the happy home as halfway houses for peace is now being replicated by other provinces in the country ano, as mentioned by our provincial uh, DILG. Furthermore, in 2016, in order to continue and enhance our peace campaign, the community support program was introduced, which uh, led to the surrender of key personalities and members of the communist terrorist group, including the neutralization of secretaries of Guerrilla Front North and Guerrilla Front 18, as well as the closure of nine Salukpungan schools in 2020. To sustain such gains, the PNP as our peace partner also deployed the Revitalized Police Barangay or RPSB to complement the uh, military efforts in cleared areas. We express our heartfelt congratulations to the province of Daba Oriental for this indeed very great achievement. Advancement in the last 53 years or over five decades ago, not just in our country, but around the world, in essence have contributed to the formation of a new threat to the freedom-loving people. The elimination of our adversary is an important step to ensure a stable and democratic society. While peace is fragile, our search for peace is of no end. 
But ultimately, the challenge on our end is sustainability. To the people of Dabo Oriental, let this day be a reminder also that you have succeeded in ending the more than 50 years of the communist terrorist group's insurgency. May you serve as a beacon to other provinces confronting the same enemy by sharing your best practices and success stories that led to this victorious day. Rest assured that Eastern Mindanao Kuman will continue to be your partner and will never stop working day and night to bring lasting peace and development to Eastern Mindanao. I commend the officers and enlisted personnel of the 7 Opers Infantry Agitingan Brigade and the Civilian Active Auxiliary under its command for effectively employing the defeat mechanisms in overwhelming the communist armed groups and the stability measures which focus on establishing peaceful, developed, and conflict-resilient communities through his stakeholders' partnership, all of which are anchored on the government's whole-of-the-nation approach, capacitating local people's organization through training and education, delivering basic services and high-impact development projects to the National Task Force to end local armed conflict, synergizing joint law enforcement and security operations with law enforcement authorities, fostering harmonious relationship with the local government units. Today marks the end of one fight, but this day also marks the beginning of a new battle, a battle against complacency and inaction. Having planted the seeds of peace and development in your communities, we must carefully foster and sustain them so they may mature into solid and resilient trees that epitomize our nation's worthy aspirations and dignified heritage. Every hardwood tree takes longer to grow, but when it matures, it becomes so sturdy and cannot be toppled easily. From here on, you can now focus on your path to progress and prosperity. Be happy, be proud. Dabar Oriental is insurgency free and show the world your proficiency in peace and development works. The time is ripe for the local government to double down on development initiatives and strategically attract suitable investments for the benefit of everyone. Ubay-ubay nga mga katuigan ang milabay ubay-ubay nga kinabuhi ang nakalas from the military from the civilian as well as from the new people's army sayang ang mga buhay na nawala dito sa ating mundo today Daba Oriental was declared as insurgency free. Huwag na nating hayaan pa na manumbalik ang kaguluhan sa probinsya ng Daba Oriental. Naangkin natin ang tunay na kapayapaan dahil sa ating pagkakaisa, dahil sa ating pagtutulungan. Ang aking pakiusap sa ating mga kababayan Tuloy-tuloy ang ating pagkakaisa. Tuloy-tuloy ang ating laban upang huwag nang manumbalik ang kaguluhan pa sa ating minamahal na probinsya. As a millennial, I personal, personally have not experienced the terrors of insurgency. However, as a millennial, I found out that peace is a very interesting thing. Because to our men and women in uniform, the purpose of war is for peace. And at the same time, in times of peace, we prepare 
for war. And it is a never-ending ending cycle. However, once we get and achieve that peace, like what we have done today, we as the millennials as well, the next generation, should be able to stand up and to cherish the peace that we were given through the blood, sweat, tears, and lives of the people who have served our country. That being said, as a millennial, to enjoy the peace that we, not, what that we did not directly work for, we ought to reciprocate and to complement the efforts of our men and women in uniform by making the most out of it. First of all, through education. Today's declaration of the province as insurgency-free is a defining moment for Davao Oriental, a milestone as far as our journey towards achieving peace is concerned. For so long a time, we have dreamt and worked on achieving peace, which was elusive. The road to peace was filled with humps and bumps. Now, finally, peace is here. Peace is now a lucid reality. In hindsight, Dava Oriental situation seemed bleak. The beautiful bays and forests were covered with insurmountable challenges. Name it, we had it from high poverty incidents to insurgency at its worst. As the then newly elected provincial governor in 2007, I kept asking myself, why is my province, which is naturally and culturally blessed, in such a poor state? For all its worth, I still consider Davao Oriental as a rich province with so much potentials for development. It's the biggest in terms of land area in the whole region. It has the longest coastline. It has rich cultural and historical heritage. It boasts of rich mineral resources. It is blessed with several and varied natural attractions from pristine rivers, wide lakes, white sand and cream sand beaches, amazing waterfalls, caves and mountains, several tiny islands, and a large pygmy forest rich in biodiversity, the Mount Hamiditan Wildlife Sanctuary, inscribed by UNESCO in 2014 as a World Heritage Site, the only one in Mindanao, and the seventh in the whole country. With the termination of the peace talks in February 2017, the 10th ID relaunched a new campaign strategy this time. PIDO leveled up. It is called the Community Support Program or the CSP. The creation of the NTF LCAC complemented and gave flesh to the long-dreamed development from the barrios to the sitios. The hinterlands and countrysides were developed. Roads and economic support were provided to every geographically isolated and disadvantaged area or GDAS were developed. It was implemented by then Governor, now Congressman Nelson Boy Dayang Hirang. He continued and sustained the provincial government's support to all endeavors relative to peace and development. Thank you for that, Congressman and former Governor. Nelson Boy Dayangira. After thorough evaluation and a validation of the competent authorities from the Armed Forces of the Philippines and the Philippine National Police, and by virtue of Provincial Peace and Order Council Resolution Number no. One Series 
of 2022, dated September 19, 2022, I, Corazon T. Nunez Malanyaon, Governor of the Province of Davao Oriental and Chairperson of the Provincial Peace and Order Council, do hereby officially declare the beloved province of Davao Oriental as an insurgency-free province. Lubos po naming binabati ang mga residente ng buong lalawigan ng Davao Oriental. Bilang kayo ay insurgency-free province na nga. Ngunit hindi lamang po ito trabaho ng ating Philippine Army, ng ating Philippine National Police at ng mga kawani ng pamahalaan. This is everybody's work and this is everybody's victory, lalong-lalo na sa mga residente ng Davao Oriental. We hope and desire that you all in Davao Oriental will continue to live in peace. Congratulations po ulit sa inyong lahat. God bless you all. Para sa inyong pong lahat na patuloy na nanunood sa ating positibong kwentuhan dito sa IDOQ by John Paul Siniel at hindi pa po kayo nakapag-subscribe, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel IDOQ by John Paul Siniel and please do click the notification bell for you to be alerted once we have new uploads. And please do uh, like and share our uh, Facebook page, IDOQ by John Paul Siniel. For your comments and suggestions, please do send them to our email address or to the messenger, our messenger on Facebook. Mga IDOQers dito po sa IDOQ, we, continu we continue to listen, tell, and inspire. This is John Paul Siniel. This is I, Doki. This is I.